Hello from the Department of Educational Technology. I'm here to show you how to create breakout rooms in advance using Google Calendar. To create breakout rooms in advance, go to your calendar at calendar.google.com or from the app selector. Create a new Google Calendar event, add your participants, click Add Google Meet Video Conferencing, then click the gear to change the conference settings. On the left hand side, choose the breakout rooms tab. You can then choose how many rooms you want. You can shuffle your participants. You can clear your participants. You can drag participants into different rooms. Please note though, only the host has access to these controls. Be careful. If you're creating breakout rooms in advance for students, make sure you turn quick access off. This way, students will not be able to enter the meet before the host. Do you want to notify your participants in advance? When you click the Save button on your calendar event, you will get the option to send an email invitation. You can choose not to send or to send. After your meet is over, please make sure you click end the call. This will end the meet for everyone and turn quick access off. Any participant who tries to rejoin will receive a message for asked to join and will not be able to join the meet. Let's go live and take a look at what this looks like. You want to go to your calendar create a new event and give it a title. You want to add your guests and I'm going to just add a few folks from my team. Notice their calendars will come up as well. See if they have anything going on and you're going to add your meet conferencing choose the gear. Now that I'm in here, I'm going to turn my quick access off, then go into my breakout rooms. I can see I have two rooms, only have four people, so two is perfect. I can shuffle everyone around, or if I know that John's been with and taught Dana's group a lot, I can just move him down and move Tasha up. And once I'm happy, I'm going to click save and save again. Notice it will ask me, do I want to send them an alert? Not at this time. I am meeting with this same class again uh, the following day. So a quick way to recreate this is just to go in to the event, click the three dots, click duplicate, and then I can just change the date. And if I go into my settings, you'll see that they remained the same. Quick access is off. My breakout rooms contain the same people from yesterday. I can click save, save, don't send. And now I have two events on my calendar very quickly and easily. I have created my breakout rooms in advance. If you have any additional questions regarding this training or any other trainings, please feel free to reach out to anyone from the EdTech training team. We also have a ton of resources on our website at edtechtraining.palmbeachschools.org. Thank you.